Hi, this is Gene with Troy Built Models, and we're today going to test out the DJI Evo. We've got the Sony Nex 7 with the Zenmuse gimbal on it, and we have a 20,000 milliamp hour battery on there that weighs about five and a half pounds. Uh, this one is the AGA power battery. There's a few different 20,000s that are available. They should all perform fairly similarly. Uh, so we're just going to take it off and fly it and see how long it's going to fly for. It's right around 18.8 uh, .8 pounds right now, a little under 19 pounds. So we're going to see how long it's going to fly for. Here is where we're going to set the timer. So when it takes off, we'll start the timer. You see we're about 25 volts. We're going, to, we're going to see how much of a drop there is when we first take off. It's probably going to lose a volt or so. And then we will um, fly down to 22 volts minus whatever that drop is. So we fly down to maybe 21 volts. Somewhere in there, we're going to see how many milliamps go back into the battery. So we've got eight satellites. And we're going to check to make sure our GPS is working. So we got two blips. We got single blip. Uh, we're in GPS mode. We're going to leave course lock off. We're going to just leave the landing gear down uh, for this test. We're going to leave her in high rates. So here we go. Still at 24.9 volts, and we're going to take off. And so it dropped about a volt, a volt and a half or so. So we're going to fly this down to about 21, 20 and a half, somewhere in that range. We're going to see what the time is. We're up to about 20 seconds so far. And I'm not going to do anything with the transmitter, just let it sit there and hover. It's very windy today. We have probably 20 knot winds and they're swirling over the house here. So uh, it's not going to be uh, the best day for this, but it'll give it more of a true to life experience. It does not seem like the motors are straining that much. It doesn't seem like they're straining any more than usual using two. 5,000s or a 10,000 or even the 16,000. It's all about the same. We're going to test the motor temperatures once we land and see what that's at. All right, we're at 15 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and land it. Still have battery left, and it's definitely windy. You can see it blowing around. 
we did disconnect the uh, the camera so we could see the uh, nomenclature on here, the telemetry a lot easier. So uh, it's bounced up to 22.2 or so, which is where we were hoping to cut off at. So we'll go and give it a charge right now and see how many milliamps we put into our 20,000 milliamp hour battery and uh, we'll conclude our test. So we finished up our test. We did charge up the battery. We put in about 17,000 milliamps into that 20,000 milliamp hour battery. So that's about 85% of the battery we used up. And so 15 minute flight time seems to be about right for a 20,000 milliamp hour battery, at least the one that we used. So the total all up weight was about 19 pounds. So uh, if you're interested in getting one of these batteries or knowing more about these, please give us a call here at Troy Built Models. We would be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching.